on YouTube, it's your boy Light back here with another YouTube video, and uh, yeah, in today's video, we're doing Coming to America, number two, review here, so yeah, uh, I got mixed opinions on this movie, so yeah, it's the sequel we have been wait waiting for, no, I'm just kidding, no one asked for, but <laughs> it was it was still fun to have a kind of follow up to what happened in the original movie. No, I'm a huge. I am. I really enjoyed the first one, as well. I recently watched before I watched this one. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, if you're unfamiliar with the first one, it's exactly as the title says. It's coming to America, but pretty much, and it's basically falls a guy, uh, an African prince, of a yeah, an African prince as he goes to America to try to find a wife. He ends up doing it. What not? That's basically all you really have to know. And he went to America. That's really all you have to know for the second one. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll talk about it later in this video if you need to watch the first one before watching this. I would suggest watching the first one, but if you don't have time, go ahead and watch the second one. But yeah, uh, this this movie uh, it came. It, all the original, most of the original cast have came back. Eddie Murphy came back, Arinzio Hall came back, all of them, all the original cast pretty much came back, um, except for the Queen, uh, I'm not sure if she passed away or something, I, I don't know what happened to her, but I think they said in the story she passed away or whatever, uh, but yeah, uh, pretty much same cast. Which I, I, I think is alright. They added some new faces and stuff. They added Leslie Jones. Uh, yeah, they added Leslie Jones. They added Jermaine Fowler as the new kind of... New kind of... Uh, main star kind of thing. Or main character, I mean, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, this, this... Coming to America 2... I think it should be called Coming to Zamunda. Because... Honestly, the maybe twenty five percent of the story takes place in America, or not even ten. Like maybe like fifteen percent of the story takes place in America, which I don't really like. To be honest with you, it's mostly taking place in Zamunda, so that's something interesting to note as well. Uh, another thing too is is again the sequ the original movie came out, or the first movie I mean. Came out back in 1990, or sorry, 1988. So it's been 30 plus years since the last one. And the, uh, the story really tells that, that there, it's been 30 years, obviously. So yeah, I found that really interesting as they kind of tie in the first one as well, too. So that was cool as well. Uh, I, I wasn't, in all honesty, I thought this might be a cash grab, but... It kind of was, it kind of wasn't. Uh, like, this didn't really copy uh, too, too much out of the uh, first one. Like, if I feel like the roles are much, very well, like, swapped. Uh, yeah, the roles are a little bit swapped, and it's a little bit different. It's like watching Cobra Kai, for example, where we're getting the new... Uh, from, from the perspective of the Cobra Kai, for example. And this, we're getting the perspective of the American, not the Z the, uh, the Zamboni, or, Z no, sorry, not the Zamboni, sorry. Zamondian, or, I'm not too exactly sure how you say that, but, yeah, the, the African people, we, we're getting more of the side of the American, which I thought was really interesting, and, yeah. Uh, like I said before, the original cast came back, and yeah, uh, Akeem got crowned king now, so he's got to find a prince, uh, and then he finds his long-lost son, which is kind of stupid to be honest with you guys, but yeah, we find his long-lost son, and yeah, he pretty much makes him try to become prince, pretty much, and he already has three daughters, so... Yeah, honestly, I think the uh, the role of the long lost son, uh, Kim's long lost son, makes absolutely no sense to be honest with you guys. Uh, when we saw Coming to America one, 
we didn't see nothing like he never was hanging around with other girls and stuff so i, I was seriously curious on what the hell happened but like it doesn't do a well done enough job on explaining exactly how this happened so yeah i, I might have to rewatch it again but it didn't make really very much sense to me uh yeah, so I, I kind of find that far-fetched, to be honest with you guys. I think they mostly did it just because, again, it's kind of crash, cash-grabby kind of thing. And they need to make a story that people like. So, yeah. Uh, they also added Wesley Snipes to the... They added him in this, which I think was cool as well. Um, it was enjoyable seeing him as, as in there as well. And they brought back the girl who was barking like a dog in the first one. Uh, and dancing around. And she was still stuck in that curse. Or whatever. So I thought that was really funny as well. They brought her back. Her. Uh, yeah. Um, Eddie Murphy did a good job. But his role. In my, I, I consider his role to be very much different. On uh, this one. Uh. Yeah, the focus is more on the American kid. Uh, and, yeah, like, the original cast, again, comes back. I think they were all good as well. Um, really enjoyed it all. I just... The thing that's really stupid to me as well is just terrible writing as well. It wasn't really good writing. was that the fact that the daughters were like, Oh, uh, how come we can't be the rulers of Zamunda or whatever? And then he's like... Oh, I would love to have you, but there has to be a prince or whatever. They keep saying that and making us think, oh, maybe they're, in the end they're going to make uh, the princesses become the rulers or something like that. But, like, through and throughout the bad writing, it screwed up everything because of just the fact that they just completely ignored that in the end. Um, they ended up making him, like, the prince and whatnot. So I thought that was really, really strange. In my opinion, I did not like that writing, the way they wrote that. It just, it wasn't really good. Same again with the how he has a son part. That that was just screwed up as well. Uh, they also added a little bit more of singing and dancing in this one too. Just thought it was alright, but... <laughs> funny, but... Yeah, I... I have no problem with it. Uh... Yeah, uh, and then they added some more pretty good actors, like I said, just said before, which is Leslie Jones, Wesley Snipes, uh, forgot his name. Uh, Tracy Morgan, they added him in. Uh, I thought it was definitely interesting. Morgan Freeman. So many different names they've added to this, and they're big names too, so. Yeah, I definitely thought that was an interesting touch on it as well uh <clears throat> the uh next thing is probably the way it follows up to coming Amer to america uh one uh it it does a decent job of following up like we see obviously that uh akeem's married to akeem's married to his wife lisa or whatever we see that we see that they just brung mcdowell's with them and i think his name was cliff or no, Cleo, sorry, sorry. His name is Cleo and he owned the McDowell's. Uh, I definitely thought that was an interesting touch as well. Uh, adding them in and bringing them to Zamunda and just trying to do that. I thought that was interesting. Uh, yeah, it does a pretty good following up job. It does, it's not too bad. Or, like, they forget about the first one or something like that. Like, they do have some callbacks. Like, for example, the barbers from the last one. That, that was funny. Uh, I remember them. Uh, yeah, and the Reverend, he's brought back. Yeah, they do some those kind of callbacks. But, like, I kind of wish that they maybe did a callback to maybe... A little bit of Queens, kind of, because in the the first one, Queens is featured a lot, and then in the second one, it's fe featured very little bit. 
And it's just, it's just, I wish coming to America, they could have maybe did a little bit more stuff in America as well. But yeah, honestly, it was a good movie still. I, I enjoyed the story. If I, if I just watched this by itself and never watched Coming to America 1, I think this movie would be good. I think I would enjoy it. But seeing Coming to America 1, I, I enjoy this movie a little bit less, but it's still a good movie. Uh, my final rating, honestly, would probably be, uh, like, a 7.57 7 out of 10. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Comment down below, what do you guys think about this movie? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.